She needs help. That may very well be. It also might be what somebody would like you to think. Angel. Cordy, just take a message. So you think this is a setup? Well, let's rule it out. Angel. Cordy, please, I'm talking. Hi, Darla. He can't talk right now. I'll call you back once he's found it. Yeah, okay, bye. Darla? My boy. Is it cold? Oh my gosh. Where are you? said you might need some help with her. No. Leave. I have to go to him, Lindsay. Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh, he cure heart. Oh, my gosh. He's the only one. He can help me. No. I can help you, too. No. No, I can't. You don't have it in you. I'm sorry. Why don't we all take a walk down Mr. Manor's office? I can handle this. All right, go. She's not leaving the building. I said go! <laughs> Darla. She can't make it out of there. Darla. Where's she now? You not only allowed her to escape, you facilitated it. Thank you, does love her. Confusing. He was originally, though. She may be experiencing all of this exactly as you did. But Angel, you yourself wandered for a hundred years without ever seeking redemption. That's right. I sought her. Man, like, everything they were showing in the last episode, they're showing in this one now. Well, I don't think they'll show the New York thing, but... We're seeing, like, different sides of it, like, their perspectives. You can never resist a religious war. And you always talked about China. You just found the bodies. You never used to be so careless. Maybe I wanted to be found. Spike and drill. They're here. Probably out in the riots. Maybe starting a new one. I should kill you right now. What? Is that why you've come all this way? Too much of a coward to end your own existence. You want me to do it for you? Is that why he was acting soul? so subdued what? and not wanting to kill with Spike? Because you know. he had a soul. It's oh. Not all. You still have a soul. I'm still a vampire. You're not. Look at you. I don't know what you are anymore. Oh, you know what I am. You made me, Darla. I'm in jealous. Not anymore. Think he's again. trying to force Just it. Give me a chance to prove it to you. I thought he was kind of jealous at first, but... I'll tell you what. 
Wait a minute, this new book shows up. I'll give you first crack. I smell fear. That's not the place where it's at. The way she's looking at him. She knew. I love seeing it from a different perspective. It's so interesting. Killed him, by you. took the baby. Not by anyone. Well, Spike, Spike, without killing a slayer, you were saving missionaries. From me. Can't kill that little face. Turn back to Angelus, I don't think he would even be on the side. Actually, get like good soul, of Darla. You'll make the pain stop, won't you? Takes time. Takes moments. Do it now. What? Oh, she wants to be a vampire. Sorry. 
Wow, that was, when I heard it was called Darla, I was pretty sure it was going to be about Darla, but whoa. And I was told if I could to watch The Last Buffy and this one together. Um, but now I see why, because the scenes we saw spike, now we're seeing it from the other side of Angel and Darla. And oh my gosh, I was talking about how it was kind of weird that Angelus was acting so subdued in those scenes, like during the Chinese... Um, like the Boxer Rebellion or whatever. Like when Spike said like he'd killed a Slayer and like they were like, oh, smell fear. And like, he seemed just so subdued. I thought maybe he was kind of jealous. I'm like, why is he so serious? He used to be all like into this stuff. But it makes sense now that at that point he had his soul but was trying to fake it and pretend he still did it. Like he could still be the vampire he was. And that's also why Darla was a bit more like serious because... She knew what was going on with him. Um, but seeing, like I said, the scenes from the other side were so interesting. And also seeing Darla's past, where she came from. Um, I'm not sure if we knew the Master was the one that created her. I th think we might have. I totally forgotten. But as soon as I heard his voice, even though he was wearing a hood, that voice is like unmistakable. I'm like, that's the Master. It's so cool seeing Returns. Um from old characters like that. Like, we saw him on The Wish. I think that was the last time we saw him, I believe. Um, yeah, I don't think we saw him after that. But seeing where, like, she had her start, so, like, from the 1600s, um, seeing where she had her start, and just knowing the chain of events, like, she changed Angel. Angel changed Drusilla. Drusilla changed Spite, like, the chain of events. I guess that's why, like, back in, like, season... Too, I think when Spike first appeared and he said that, like, you're my sire to Angel. I assume that meant Angel was the one that turned him. But I guess since he's in the same line, kind of like Vampire Diaries, like the same line of, like, this one turned this one turned this one, like, he's kind of, it's almost like Angel would be his, like, what, like, grandfather. I think that's why Drew like was calling Dar, like, grandmother or grandma or whatever. Um, but yeah, seeing how Darla kind of abandoned him. Now she's understanding how it feels um, to have the soul. Um, but now he's there knowing what she's going through. But she can't take it. I didn't expect it to like catch up to her that fast. Last episode when Angel mentioned it's going to like catch up to you, I didn't think it was going to be that fast. But it happened quite fast. Um, and it seems like she can't stand it. Whereas Angel would have never, I don't think, he tried to just fake it, but she doesn't want to, she, she just wants to be a vampire again. She wants her soul to be gone. Um, but obviously Angel's not going to do that. I'm sure she could find another, I mean, another vampire to do it, but there'd be no guarantee that they wouldn't just kill her. Um, I mean, I feel like Lindsay really does care for her, obviously. So the whole thing with Wolf and Hart wants him to have a moment of pure happiness. I guess not necessarily having sex, but... So he turned into the dark side, Angelus, and then start working for them. But they don't know Angelus. Like, he showed right there when he didn't want anything to do with the Master and his crew. They think, oh, he becomes Angelus, he's going to work for us. No, he'd probably kill them anyway. He'd be like, screw you guys. So I don't think they really thought this through too well. Um, but now Darla's gone again. I don't know. I was seeing a glimpse, I'm like, hmm... Could she become a good character? Like, sold human to Darla? But I don't know. She seems too broken. It's She's just a vampire too long, I think. Because she can't remember her real name or her life before. Um, but yeah, another great episode. Another great flashback episode. Lots of cool flashbacks. Um, 
just so interesting seeing more insight on the characters and what they went through. I love it so much. And I'm so glad Angel got his own show so we can see even more that they couldn't show on Buffy. Now since he's like the lead of the show, of course they can show more. But, damn, that was really, really good. Um, yeah, I've enjoyed both of these episodes of Buffy and now of Angel. Hope you guys enjoyed these reactions. Hope you guys enjoyed all this, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.